Oh, that's actually not too bad. Are you recording now? Yeah. Yeah? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Andy Gets Gas, where I, Andy, oh, shit, it's Andy Drink Beer. Welcome back to Andy Drink Beer, where I, Andy, drink beer and talk about it. I'm joined today by my brother, Greg. I'm Greg. Um, so, yeah, uh, today we're doing uh, Moosehead Lager. Um, I'm going to throw it over to Greg for a little bit. Um, just kind of tell us about your drinking experiences and uh, what, what do you usually drink, uh, your preferences, well, and then uh, we'll bust this open and go on. Okay, well, my drinking experience goes way back to a certain age. Uh, I believe my first beer was a Grain Belt Premium. I thought it tasted like apple cider. Quality beer. Quality beer. Uh, I've shifted over the years. Some at EPAs, Firebrick. These days, I drink a lot of hams. 15 bucks for a 30-pack. Can't beat that. Can't complain. And it's union made, like this beer. Yep, I'm seeing. Yep, Moosehead is uh, union made. Um, a lot of the the like industrial beers are are union made. I was actually talking to one of my coworkers earlier today about that. How I think it's easier for like the macro breweries to unionize um, because it's more of an industry setting and not as much like um, I guess like a brew pub or a restaurant setting. Yeah, it makes sense. They can't pull the whole, hey, we're all a family here scheme. Exactly. Everyone that's, knows that's, that's not a family. Yeah. If your boss says we're all a family here, you're about to get exploited. Yeah, they're full of shit. Yep. Um, cool. Ready? Yeah. yeah, let's drink this. Let's pop it open. Um, it, it is in the green bottle, which I typically... I prefer brown bottles. Um to green or clear because um, the green will let in that light that kind of skunkifies it. Exactly. I, yeah. I had one of these earlier. And, uh, I always associate green bottles with skunky beer for that reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, like St. Pauli Girl, like you open yeah. it and, and it straight up smells like weed. Oh, St. Pauli Girl. <laughs> yeah. Great marketing scheme for the 50s, uh, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a lager. It's a lager. It's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can tell it's Canadian because it's a... Because uh, there's a, a moose head on the label. Because <laughs> it says Canadian on it. Um, no, it, on the side here, it's uh, 5% alcohol. And a lot of the uh, like industrial lagers around here would be uh, 4.2. Right, like Pabst and Old Style. Exactly. Which are the same beer. <laughs> Which are the same beer. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I imagine puppers on Letterkenny tastes mm -hmm. like. Um, we are out in the garage today. Um, it was a little colder this morning, but it's uh, it's not too bad now. Yeah, this is obviously the garage because I don't think we keep the weed whacker in my room <laughs> or the kitchen. Well, yeah, you could put keep the weed whacker in the kitchen. We could, yeah. Chop some vegetables with it. Um, I just want to show everyone at home this. Um, I have a bench, and it's covered with snow because I left it outside, so we're using it to to keep our beer nice and cold. So, um, yeah. Little tip, if you don't have fridge space for your beer, just leave it out in the snow, and it will insulate it enough that it won't freeze. Yep. Supposed to get some more snow too. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to warm up for Halloween though. Convenient. Up to <laughs> 45. Yeah, but every kid's still gonna be Spider Man in a fucking jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they even do trick or treating this year. Yeah. I probably should get candy just in case. Worst case scenario, I eat a bunch of candy. I'm gonna eat a bunch of candy. It's the scariest time of year when everyone has candy. When everyone's so fucking uh, sugar hot. I'm gonna smoke if I feel like that. No smoking allowed in the garage. Uh, the garage is where I hang out. Uh, 
three times a day when I bring the dogs out. That's where I store my bike. It's the bike spot. Got uh, tools, axes and saws and such. Coolers. Coolers. Inner tubes. <laughs> Wrenches of every size. Well, except metric. Right, but we got that crescent wrench. Yeah. You don't need metric wrenches if you have a crescent wrench. No, this is a fine enough beer. I can see killing a 12 pack. Mm -hmm. Bring a frisbee dolphin. Mm -hmm. Established 1867. So this beer is one year older than the state of Minnesota. So, um, what's the 1953? You know that on yours? Yeah, is it H040? Yeah, 1943. Ho4. Ho40. 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 1953. I don't know. Um, if anyone out there knows what the uh, the 1953 next to the moose means, um, maybe that's when the moose was born. Yeah, it could be. That's an old moose. That moose is long dead. So it says fiercely independent product of Canada, but I don't see any French on this label at all. Well, and that what part of like Canada that. is it from? I know it's imported it by Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. New Brunswick. St. John, New Brunswick. Oh, okay. So that's, um, um, pretty sure that's near Quebec. Yeah, it's east. East Quebec, I, I believe. Well, either um, it's because it's the uh, the version that's manufactured for importing to America, mm -hmm. or it's an area that just doesn't have the big French population. Right. Those that would be my guesses. I think it's because it's the the American the version. American export. Or if they change the flavor, <laughs> we got to dumb it down for the Americans. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I wonder they handle our complex French. Um, if we have any Canadians watching, and you're familiar with Moosehead, could you let us know if there's um, a difference? If maybe it's higher than 5%, or if it comes in a better bottle, or... A French bottle. Something, It's yeah. a, like a big wine bottle. Yeah. <laughs> that smokes. <laughs> oh, what was that thing? A liter of beer? A liter of beer. Like, if you order a liter of beer in Canada, you order it in English... Uh, they'll give you a pint. <laughs> no, it's like a liter, and if you order... Oh, no, pinta. Okay. Yeah, it was like pinta. If you order a pint of beer in Canada or Quebec, they'll give you a pint, like 16 ounces. But if you order un pinta de beer, whatever, uh, if you order it in French, they'll give you a quart. <laughs> So, kind of makes you want to learn French. Kind of makes you want to learn French. Like, not real French. <clears throat> Quebec French. Montreal French. Home of the Canadians with an E. Oh, St. John. That was in uh, the movie Goon. Oh, okay. <laughs> the St. John Shamrocks, I think it was. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, cool. They got the losing team. No, they were the winning. Oh, that's okay. sad. Shamrocks were the uh, Yeah, that that was the one that uh Oh that goon played for. That goon played for. It's <laughs> been a while. That Stifler played for. <laughs> it's been a while. But it's it's good. It's no Mighty Ducks. Mm. It's based on a true story too. So Slapshot. Yeah. And Slapshot is Paul Newman. Cool Hand Luke gets a hockey team. Antics ensue. So if his wife is a lesbian, does that make him gay? Yeah, that's a... Uh, <laughs> Slapshot man. is a very problematic movie. But very funny. <laughs> if you like hockey, it's worth checking out. But, yeah, it's super problematic. Mm -hmm. A lot of homophobic stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of misogynistic stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's a product of its time. The hockey scenes are good. We can condemn the problematic parts while enjoying the good parts. That's a good point. Yeah. Art, art, art is weird. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, the Disney movies on Disney+. Plus. I'm not saying Disney's good in any way, but uh, 
you know, there's no reason to get rid of some of the movies. Some of them you gotta throw out the window. Like the old uh, Robin Hood. Or not Robin Hood. Peter Pan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Peter Pan. Yeah, throw that out. You can make a new one that's better. Mm -hmm. Animated in the same exact style, but without the, the really shitty stuff. Yeah, you can have kids dressed up like animals fighting pirates all day. Like that, There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But, uh... You know, you don't have to throw out everything. Yeah. As long as you remembered uh, that everything needs context. And separate the art from the artist. Well... Yeah, as long as the artist was dead. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You, you don't want uh, a living shithead to profit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fuck J.K. Rowling. Yeah, 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 fuck J.K. Rowling. I'm making all kinds of enemies. All the Potterheads are going to be up in arms over this. Yeah, who else should we denounce? Oh, fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, that's fuck, an easy one. Fuck Trump. Anyone else see him last night? He was like, I'm the least racist person in this room. He's like, yeah, on opposite day. I look out in the audience, I can't see anyone, it's very dark, but it doesn't matter who they are because I am the least racist person. <laughs> Everyone sucks. Everyone's stupid except us. And our viewers, of course, our loyal viewers. Wouldn't be here without you. Big fancy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What was that? laughs> and you. And it's you. all about you. <laughs> you are the most important part of Andy Gets Gas and Andy Drink Beer. This turned into like a weird, like, <laughs> the start of a, a telethon or something. And you at home are responsible for making this fine programming possible. Uh, if you do want to PayPal me for my emotional labor, it's, uh, no, I'm just playing. If you do, you can hit me up on, uh, on my Facebook, Andy Gets Gas. DM me all your credit card information. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we throwing it at your phone? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit the phone. Um, yeah, I mean, anything you want to plug? Uh, hmm, anything I want to plug? Uh, Black Lives Matter, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Be sure to vote, but vote your conscience. Con conscience. I voted for Howie Hawkins. I did, too. I'm not going to say I endorse him, it's just like, you know, <laughs> what else are you going to do? There's the PSL, they're okay. You know, for what they are. <laughs> oh man, we're making more enemies. <laughs> we're okay. For what they are. Vote for the PSL, vote for the Green Party, vote for fucking Kanye, the Libertarians. I don't... Really no, don't care. vote for Kanye. <laughs> vote for Kanye. Don't vote for Kanye. <laughs> he... Don't vote for Kanye. <laughs> Don't encourage it. Don't vote Shay. Kanye. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> uh, no, if you're gonna vote for a rapper, vote for uh uh what's his name? The snowman. Blizzard? No, it was Jeezy or Yeezy. He was one of those southern rappers. I remember back in high school, we couldn't wear the uh, the snowman shirts because it was a symbol. Because all the teachers knew what that meant. It meant cocaine. Yeah, I think it was after you graduated. Yeah, I'm too old. I might have been in high school, but like a lot of people got in trouble for wearing these sweatshirts with like an angry snowman on it because it was a cocaine reference that some rapper made. Anyway, weird hip hop history. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Blizzard Man from oh. SNL, Andy Samberg. You know, SNL. I kind of wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> rap song, rap song. Blizzard That's Man, so common, do it, the Humpty Dance. Oh, come on, the Humpty Dance. <laughs> and now we're going to get flagged by NBC for copyright violation. Oh yeah, maybe. That'd more enemies. Good. <laughs> more enemies means more views.
Come and get me. I got nothing to take. Snowball. Snowball. Um. Yeah. You got anything else? Nah. All right. It's so, a pretty good beer. Um, yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend drinking it if it's really hot out, and definitely don't leave it in the sun. You wouldn't recommend this for a hot day? I would not, because it would turn skunky real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could see that. I would recommend it for a hot day if it's on ice. Yeah, if you keep it on ice yeah. and you drink it really quick, mm -hmm. sure. A lot like the um, the last beer I did um, with Eric, mm -hmm. uh, the Dortmunder Gold Lager. His wasn't... Um, chilled down properly and it's like yeah, it was kind of tastes like skunk and eh, eh, you know um but uh yeah it's very very drinkable um i mean i could pound this down pretty quick yeah i'd say it's best for like like fall days like this maybe a little warmer fall than days like this snow <laughs> Happy Minnesota. Fall days, like, a little earlier in the fall, I guess, before yeah. the snow came. Like, at the point where you don't have to mow your lawn anymore, but you don't have to shovel yet. Yeah. So, like, that one day a year. Yeah, or for, like, early spring. Mm -hmm. Or, like, you pull it out of a cooler in a parking lot and just down it real quick. You know, like, yeah, yeah. if you drink it fast, the rules are different. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is definitely a beer that'll skunk up in hot weather. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a lager, so you, you know the natural inclination is to drink it in hot weather because it's so refreshing and water-like. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not that this is watery. It, it It's a beer. It's a full, robust lager. Well, and it's it's kind of interesting, too, because like, um, to make a lager, you have to lager a beer, which is just brewing it at a lower temperature. I thought so, loggers were the guys that cut down trees. Uh, <laughs> um, so lagering a beer is brewing it at a lower temperature, so the yeast takes longer to ferment. Takes so, lager to ferment. Takes lager to ferment. Um, and so you do kind of have that um, smoother... There's not a lot of those harsh notes that you get from a lot of ales. Uh, it's just drinkable. And then because you have to do it at a lower temperature, it's typically done in the fall, winter, and spring. Mm -hmm. And then it's ready for summer. Yeah, so. pilsners are, are good for hot weather, too. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, the problem with them is, yeah, once they warm up, I don't think they're as good. Yeah, they kind of take on some um, odd characteristics. Yeah, skunk stuff. Yeah. Uh, not, I mean, not so much the skunk thing, because I, I think a lot of that is um, like that skunk flavor is the uh, light getting into the bottle. Because I don't know if I've ever had a beer in a brown bottle or a can that was like skunky, skunky. Mm -hmm. So you think the light itself has an effect and it's not just the heat? I don't know. The heat might have something to do with it. If somebody out there knows what the hell they're talking about, let us know. Cause I think the we idea sure is like a, a, a darker colored bottle would uh, insulate it more. Because less. Uh, UV rays, which would warm it up, get in. Oh, that could be. That could be. Uh, but yeah, again, I'm talking out of my ass. I majored in sociology. What do I know? Well, like a darker bottle would absorb more heat than a lighter colored bottle. Right, but if it's lit in the light, it's warming up the, the beer directly. True, true. So it's kind of like a greenhouse the... type of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's an insulation. Yeah. Like snow. Like snow. Which keeps it from freezing. Snow keeps beer from freezing. And if it's too cold and your beer's still freezing, you gotta switch to whiskey. You gotta switch to whiskey. Like that old uh, Windsor Canadian billboard. Mm -hmm. Windsor, because beer freezes. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, I guess that's all. Yeah.
Thanks, everyone. Um, I should be doing another uh, Andy Gets Gas on probably this Sunday. Um, possibly the return of Mad Dog. So uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, have